Okay, so um, this is the GCMS setup. And what you'll notice is that over here on the right hand side, this is the same gas chromatograph that you used last semester in Chem 420. The Trace 1300 by Thermo Scientific, same as Trace Scientific uh, 1300 of Thermo Scientific. The only difference is that the GCMS has the added mass spectrometry component. And so the way the system works is exactly the way the gas chromatography from last semester worked initially. The auto sampler injects your unknown mixture into the gas chromatograph and the sample works its way through this coiled capillary column and this is what separates the mixture into its components. The difference here is that instead of just leaving the instrument as it did last semester with GC, the components of the mixture get funneled one by one over into the mass spectrometer. Okay, so once your, all of your samples have been run, what you'll see is very similar to the software from the gas chromatography of last semester. Um, over here we have that file tree that has all of the sequences and uh, I've selected uh, fall 17 nitrations and you can see all of the samples that were run for that semester uh, experiment three. So I'm just gonna open one of the injections at random. We'll choose this one here. And the way I open that uh, injection is just by double clicking on the icon. And that will open up both the GC window right here. So you can see that within this mixture, we had three peaks corresponding to three components of the mixture. So they ran the nitration experiment and they ended up with three separate products. And what's really nice about this software is that over on the right hand side, we can see the mass spectrum that corresponds to the highlighted peak. So this first peak is highlighted and this is the mass spectrum of that corresponding peak. And I can go through and highlight each of the additional ones, and that changes the mass spectrum. So by clicking on the peak, it will bring up the associated mass spectrum. The best part about this software is that unlike what I've been torturing you with in lecture, um, we don't have to go through and do a detailed fragmentation analysis. Uh, because most mass spectrometers are uh, loaded with a uh, some sort of a database, usually the NIST library, um, we are able to simply right click in the mass spectrometer, uh, mass spectrum window, and select find in library. And what do you know? we end up with the dinitrated fluorobenzene product. 